Once upon a time, in a kingdom nestled between rolling hills and meandering rivers, there ruled a wise and benevolent king. His people lived in harmony, surrounded by prosperity, and no misfortunes cast shadows on their joyous lives. One day, the king, driven by a desire to connect with his people, decided to embark on a journey to visit places of historical significance and pilgrim centers. Unlike other kings, he chose to travel on foot, wanting to experience firsthand the challenges faced by his subjects. The people of distant villages were elated to host their beloved king, proud that he possessed a compassionate heart. For several weeks, the king traversed vast landscapes, engaging in meaningful conversations with his subjects. He marveled at the richness of his kingdom and the contentment of his people. However, as the journey continued, an unexpected challenge arose, unbearable pain in the king's feet. This discomfort was entirely new to him, for it was his first extensive trip by foot. Upon his return to the royal palace, the king, while satisfied with the journey, harbored a regret. He summoned his ministers and complained about the harshness of the roads, adorned with unforgiving stones that caused him immense pain. Concerned for his people, he expressed worry about their well-being while traversing such paths. In response, he decided to issue a royal decree. The entire network of roads in the kingdom was to be covered with leather so that his people could walk comfortably. The ministers, however, were taken aback by the magnitude of such an order. They calculated the tremendous cost and the ethical implications of slaughtering thousands of cows to obtain the required amount of leather. In the midst of their contemplation, a wise minister approached the king with an alternative solution. He humbly suggested, instead of covering the roads with leather, why not have a piece of leather cut in the appropriate shape to cover your feet, my king? The king, intrigued by the simplicity and wisdom of this suggestion, applauded the minister's insight. He ordered a pair of finely crafted leather shoes for himself, and realizing the profound moral lesson embedded in the suggestion, shared it with his people. The kingdom soon embraced the practice of wearing shoes, and the people walked with greater ease and comfort. The moral of the story resonates through time. Rather than attempting to change the vast world around us, it is wiser to focus on changing ourselves. In doing so, we not only find solutions to our problems, but also inspire positive transformations in the world around us.